hey welcome back everyone and in today's video i'm going to talk about the update issue that is going on with the windows release 21996.1 so most of you followed my previous video and bypassed tpm and secure boot to install the developer version of windows 11 but apparently most of you had the concern that uh, will we get updates so i actually have the final response for that so there are possibly two ways to go right here so one is if you have a TPM chip but you still bypassed it using the method then um, you have you would have to enable TPM on your system to get future updates but if your system is really old and you don't have a TPM chip then uh, you will still receive security patches but you will not receive the future insider builds of Windows 11 so this is the state right now which Microsoft has put us in so if you don't have a machine that is from 2015 or newer then you will not have a TPM chip most probably on your system so in that case it's best to stay in windows 10 and not update to windows 11 and even if you followed my last video and you updated to windows 11 then you'll uh, get an option to revert back to windows 10 with all your files intact um, just as shown as in the video right here so in case you're still uh, wondering how to install windows 11 uh, like with getting all the updates and stuff so you would have to enable TPM and secure boot on your system. I'll show the method on how to do it on ASUS motherboards, but the step varies uh, completely based on the manufacturer type of your motherboard. So I can't make videos for every single manufacturer. So you have to do your own digging on the internet to find the perfect match on how to enable secure boot and TPM on your system. So this is uh, how I do it on ASUS motherboard. So we have to go into our BIOS by pressing on delete key and once you are in your BIOS go to advanced section and in there you get you get this option. So in that you click that and you change it to TPM firmware ready. So once you do that you have to restart your system and if you go into your PC health check app, app right now you will find that your PC now supports Windows 11. Once you're done with this step, you can go inside the settings menu and change your current developer channel from release version to developer version. This way you will get the latest updates from Microsoft and all the security patches as well. So you can update to the version as shown in the video right here. So I'm updating to the insider preview to 2200.51, which is the consumer release as well. I know this is really heartbreaking for a lot of you, but it is what it is and in case if I find any other bypass to install Windows 11 with updates uh, without TPM or secure boot, I'll definitely make sure to post a video on that Until then this is the only way uh, to do so and in case again I'm making sure that you all be safe so in case you have updated to Windows 11 using my method and you don't have a TPM chip you know even in your BIOS then you should definitely roll back to the windows 10 version else you will not get any updates and you might risk losing your files within the 10 days gap so please make sure that you revert back within the uh, 10 days that you update to windows 11 and for people who enabled successfully using a tpm chip on the bios you are good to go with all the future updates of windows 11 so this was it for this video and hopefully I get a fix for the rest of you who don't have a TPM chip and see you all in the next one.